actually a pornography store has to move shop to the industrial area because the community doesn't want it. And the high court said that's exactly right. You should have to move. And some people say it starts with a little bookstore that carries Fanny Hill and it turns into massage parlors and, and marital toys and the whole thing. It spreads like cancer. And that's what we talked about before break is that it starts with one business, it drives the other ones away, and then all you've got are sex shops. Well, I have to disagree with that because I think we have had downtown Manhattan adult, lately yes, and just I been have. down the strip and, and everybody all knows go to Times Square if that's what you want. But you're talking about your average town, your city, almost every town has bookstores, adult bookstores, bookstores that sell combination that go from children's books to adult books. The answer to the problem and what we're really dealing with here and what the point people have been trying to make is the influence on minors. Restricting the First Amendment is going to limit an adult's right, and that is what the protection is for. It will not, however, solve the underlying social problems that we have by just removing it. We have to deal with the problem. We have to find alternative solutions to problems dealing with juveniles. Mm -hmm. And those do not entail suspending the Constitution of the United yeah. States. There is one dangerous part, and that is who makes the judgment, as we said earlier, on what's obscene. Because what you may think is obscene may be okay with me. Uh, absolutely. Are you going to make the decision or am I? And the that, court is that's make the, the problem. Decision. And the court did make the decision. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think there are so many negative influences on kids growing up that this just makes it this ten times worse. To do with kids. Yes, Stop it does. Kids. We can no. use the issue. No, we are talking about adults. Kids. You take care of your kids. I'll take care of my kids. No, that and is. It's we your do have to protect our constitution, but this is. This, there is art. Nudity can be art. It can be beautiful. But this is disgusting. There and are kids. Like we said. <laughs> like we said, but that's your opinion. There's a guy your standing opinion. in the back of you may think but that what you think is yeah, disgusting but, is okay. It puts negative, negative thoughts in their minds, and that's what makes bad people. So you're most concerned heart. with the children? Yes. yes. Okay. We have a phone call. Good morning, caller. You're on the air. Good morning, caller. Hello. Hi. What is your opinion? Would you want a pornography shop in your community? No. We had the same situation happen in our neighborhood, and oh, we went you? out in busloads to the court, and we finally got them out. What community? <laughs> what community do you live in? In Brooklyn, Flappers area. All right. Now, what kind of stores were involved? What kind of businesses? It was a pornography store. They had magazines, and I don't give a damn what this First Amendment says. Because, uh, you know, you can't tell pornography from regular sex. And you should have seen some of the books that were in the store. They even had, they even bought in books with child pornography in there. Yeah. So if you don't want them in the store, you just throw right, right there windows to whatever you have to do. irrational elements in society, this fear, and this connecting everything with children. This has nothing to do with children. Right, you notice, rid of the you children don't have an argument. When you, take, <laughs> when you take away the argument about the children getting involved, you don't have any intelligent argument at all. All right, let's no. talk. Are we? None. Stop but, talking about children. Let's argue intelligently. Right, wait a minute. Let's not bring children into the right. into the argument then. Exactly. All right. Let's let's forget let's that, that there are children on this earth. Yeah. Would you, if you, there were no children on this planet, would you still resent having pornography stores in your neighborhood? Children. Are you a sex maniac? No. <laughs> no. no. Well, are you I told people. I told, you are always saying us people have no sex. You said that before. I said the ones that are clapping anti-pornography are anti-sex. What do you mean anti makes you think I'm over 70 years old? I think I can compete with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> You're always with the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. You're always with the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. Don't I have rights? Yes, you I don't do. watch on my corner. Right. Then don't go in. Just a minute. Just don't a minute. I right. don't want you. You want it. Don't That's our argument. Don't go I don't in go in it. So I won't shop in, there. You stay out. I won't shop there. Right. Don't say it's not for our children. Everything is for your children. Today now, sex is not for your children. I never had that in my day when I was small. I never knew about sex. The point I'm trying to make is I don't think it has to do as much with the children as it does with our values and our, our views of, you can't of pornography. You can people's rights because it puts down the value of the property. That's the same argument they use with the black people. Right. I, I wouldn't want it next to me. I wouldn't want a house no. like that next to me. Will store. you let black people move in next to you? Why not? Uh, all right. They live in Boone. Looks like you or oh why our kids are out selling their bodies on 42nd Street. What's wrong with you? 
Why do you think every I can't even walk down 42nd hey. Street without a kid trying to sell me his body you outside the porn shop? You are the We're guy. You are the guy. We're not telling him what's the print. You don't, are the guy. Don't talk right. about the amendment. No, you are. talking about the yeah, amendment no. rules. We're not telling them what to print. We're telling them where to sell it. Can you have a whorehouse next door? No. Listen, That's the same no. law. Listen, fat face. You're the kind of guy who has to go to whorehouses because you are too ugly. <laughs> you are too ugly to get it for free. Lady, I'll take you outside and wear you out, lady. You'd be selling your body if you couldn't take pictures. So big. You would be selling your body if you couldn't sell pictures of yourself. Okay, good. You ugly fat pig. Go to hell. Thank you. Thank you for your opinion. Thank you very much. That's, Hi, that's not an opinion. I love this business. Don't forget your microphone. Oh, I had, had visions of Morton Downey. Are we out of time? No, good. Big man. You can go back to the world next time. Maybe you'll get it for free. All right, now wait. Now wait. All right. Kelly, you see, you. Kelly, let's not lose our focus here this morning, and that is <laughs> that <laughs> people, no, that people are very passionate about you this. Passion, when, it comes, that you know, when it comes to pornography, they don't want no it in their community. Here. They do not want it in their community. They don't want it anywhere. But we still, as you say, have... Am I segueing well here? <laughs> this is the mob hysteria and irrationality against enlightenment and liberty and truth. But there are people who don't want pornography at all. And they that's what the point I was getting to. They don't have to look at it. it they has, don't have to take part in it. They don't have to do sex. They don't have to do anything. I don't think it has anything to do with children. All these, exactly all these the people here the masturbate world. and have fantasies. And Kelly? I bet you pornography is put in front of them. They'll look at it. They won't walk away from it. But here they want to be prudes and self-righteous hypocrites. They want their mothers and fathers to do what they want. Huh? You see, I don't think, now correct me if I'm wrong here, please. Okay. I don't think it has anything to do with children. I don't think it has anything to do with property values. I don't think it has anything to do with the neighborhoods. I think it has to do with sex. But that's pornographic right. literature and the way it depicts women and men and children, they, that's what they don't want. And they don't want it in their communities. And that's what it boils down to. And people who are passionate about it, like this gentleman, have oh, a this lot of guy power. Is frustrated. He can't get power. laid. <laughs> that's what he's passionate about. That's his problem. Jump when he right can argue tomorrow, he'll be relaxed. He'll he'll walk walk to 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 walk to get being approached. Well, I work in the city, and I have to walk down 42nd Street. I would not want to be approached, And I am panic-stricken. Uh, I'm living in Houston. And what do you just say? I hate walking down I don't want to do it. I don't want these men seeing these things depicting women as sex objects. I don't want to be thought of as yes, that. But, oh, okay, but, but see, these are, are the women people that want to be depicted as sex objects. They have a right to film their bodies. Do. They have a right to do pornography. But not what about the liberties of the women? The, the women hang out in those neighborhoods, though. That's, that's, it. that's, that's it. it. That's it. These people who go to pornography stores are the type of people that hit you up when you walk down the street. No, they are not. They do. They are not. That is not true at all. I have been in those stores. Those are the meat quiet guys that masturbate at home. They're not allowed to jump in on there. Oh. There has been no evidence to indicate that, so yes, someone who used no, no. pornography or obscenity element. goes out and rapes No, no I'm not oh, saying that. Oh, what I'm oh, saying I is that add. these businesses may draw a certain element no, to the neighborhood that is it. not... Well, well, no. Well, no. Most well, communities well, who have oh, their open well, stores well, have... Well, they are, the people who service those stores, who go in and purchase that, are people who live within that community and want that Then why is the value of property in that community go down? And that's... Right. As you can see, we will You're never ever solve this. Store. And property values, and there's no correlation. There's no proof of correlation. No, there is, no, no, there is no, none. No, no. I'm sorry that we've run out of time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exhausted. I want no. I want to thank everyone because you, I think we we looked at both sides, and I don't think that there is an answer. But there hardly ever is when we talk about these things on women's forum. Well, but it makes you think, doesn't answer. it? Thank you very much for being <laughs> with me. Dr. Larry Oxenazi is coming up next. Please stay with us.